Okay, here we are at Titan Machine Tool. We're gonna uh, drill and tap. Well, I'm really not gonna do it on camera here, but I'm gonna show you my setup for drilling and tapping a set screw in that sprocket. We put the keyway in, in the other video right there. Or at least you see me, how I was doing the keyway anyways. Right in there. Okay, so we got this guy set up. I got it in the vise, but I got these big old plates set up here that I use as angle plate knees. So I got the back one, I got it clamped to the back one. And what I did to, to locate it on the keyway was I took this parallel here, which is a, uh, what's that, quarter by three eighths, quarter by three eighths, taff pierce parallel, ground to size. So I know it's 250, I measured it. And I know my keyway is 250. So that parallel just fit in there like less than a thou clearance. Just fit right in there. And then I set the parallel on this vice jaw. I know these vice jaws are the same height. They're really not vice jaws. I know these plates are the same height. So I set that parallel on the vice, on the angle plates. And the sprocket just nat naturally oriented itself. When I put it on there and sat it on, I could take my finger and push on the sprocket and the sprocket would do this, tippy, 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 and, just, and then just settle and rest in its natural position right there. So the keyway lines it up with the parallel pretty good. Well, the parallel lines the keyway up pretty good, I should say. Now, if I was doing something that was real super precision, I would have to have a shaft in there and I would sweep the shaft with the indicator to put it on center. But being that we're just doing a set screw, I can use the edge finder. And I edge find the parallel, move over half my edge finder, move over half my parallel, and I'm close enough to being on center for putting that in. Edge found this edge. So X, center line of that is zero. Edge find this edge, Y is zero, half an inch, because we got an inch from here to there. We got an inch from here to here. So we're gonna split it and put it in the middle half inch right there. So that's where we're at. We're at zero on the X center line of the key, half an inch back. So I already center drilled it. I drilled a number seven drill as deep as I could go, but we need a long drill here because we gotta get past all of the sprocket height before we actually start drilling. So I put the 201 drill and I drilled as deep as I could go, probably about that deep right there. So then when I put this guy in, it's gonna follow the hole that's already there. It's a little long, so it's gonna stay nice and straight when it goes in. But before I drill all the way through, I gotta slide this guy out. We don't wanna drill into that. So once it was set up on there and I know it was lined up straight, I got a little stack up of parallels in here. I stacked them up and I put that big block in there and closed this jaw just to put a little bit of pressure on it. There's no way, I mean, I suppose I probably could have done it for this, but you really can't close the vice jaw all the way up and grab and pinch against this because the pressure is pushing way up here and the jaw is doing its clamping way down here. The, the, the screw that's doing all the pressure is way down here. So when you're squeezing and trying to grab way up here, it's, it's really wanting to rack and tip that jaw. Very unhealthy setup. So I use that block just to put a little pressure on it, just close the vise, just to hold the sprocket in place. And then I put the clamps on it, I put the cant twists on, just to hold it nice and firm up against that back plate. So then I center drilled, and now we're gonna tap drill. It's gonna come through key that I'll tap it by hand but before I tap I gotta have a long tap too same deal you gotta get past all of this right here before you start tapping so I had to use a long tap a long reach tap I don't like four flute taps but that's what I got so that's what I'm using so that's what we got going on there okay but before I tap this I don't need all of this thread that's an awful lot of it's an awful lot of material we don't need all that thread if we got three eighths of an inch of thread down here, or a half an inch, that's way more than enough for what it's doing. 
So I'm gonna take a 265 drill and I'm gonna drill clearance from here all the way down, maybe like, I don't know, five eighths of an inch or something like that, just to clear out a whole bunch of that material so that we're not tapping all the way through. We only wanna tap through the bottom three eighths a half an inch. So we'll leave that much material in the bottom and we'll clear out all the top. So we can just drop the tap down in the hole and tap a half an inch of that remaining material there. So I'm working one-handed again as always, but I'll drill this so that you can see. Well, we should make some chips, right? It's all talk, no chips. So it's a 201 long drill there. I'm doing it all by hand. You gotta come out and clay your chips. You don't want the drill to walk. You don't want the chips to pack up. You don't wanna break the drill. Putting a little dab of oil on there. If I had two hands, I would dab it while I was drilling. There we go, we broke through. See the drill? So the drill is through, we are through. So like I said, I will switch drills. I'll take this drill out right here. I gotta crank the table down a little bit. But I'll take that drill out, I'll put a 265 drill or a 280 drill or something like that in there. I'll drill three quarters of an inch, five eighths of an inch deep, whatever just to clear out a bunch of that material, and then I'll tap it by hand. Deburr it, take the burrs out as much as you can on the inside. And I may even put the brooch back in and run the brooch through it just to make sure we shave off any burrs that may have been pushed through. Pushed through into that hole right there. So that's that, that's how I set this guy up. Set up the sprockets to do side holes for set screws. You could clamp it on a knee, but it's easy to work with the vise. I just screw them things on. And I don't have to break up my setup. And I take the big plates off and just put the regular vise jaws back on and then I'm back doing other stuff. All right, signing off for today. Thank you for watching people. Please subscribe.